I think it was unfair. I think it was not a level playing field. We didn't get to, uh, three of our witnesses did not get to testify. A lot of the evidence, a big bulk of evidence was not allowed to be presented. And evidence that was presented was stricken. And um, so the whole picture wasn't presented. One of the problems with a case like this is that it presents the possibility that anyone here, all of us, are gonna be judged by things for which there is no attribution in real life. There's only attribution on the internet where things can be created, modified, edited, moved, hacked. And it's a significant problem going forward if the standard is so low for the evidentiary admission that, that it's, 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 it could be a significant problem going forward. It's difficult to say exactly what the precedent is, but I think what it does show is that the government has the ability to infiltrate and prosecute hackers and individuals who are running these hidden websites. They use a lot of, of what you might call old-fashioned law enforcement techniques to do it. They called cooperators. Uh, they seized evidence off his computer at the time of his arrest. Um, but clearly, uh, Dread Pirate Roberts, as Dread Pirate Roberts, thought that he was beyond uh, capture. And they've demonstrated that that's not true, that they have the ability to identify who is using websites and who is using email addresses and to hold those people responsible.